guys, everyone. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Transformers Legacy Deluxe Class Walmart Exclusive Buzzsaw. So of course this figure is a direct repaint, slight remold of the Wasp and Inner Kingdom figure, which is a pretty good figure in my opinion. I actually do think this one might be slightly better, of course, with the joint-wise. But before we take a look, let's take a look at the packaging. So of course on the front we have a nice picture of a yellow jacket looking very cool. We also have the Legacy logo, Transformers on the side, and of course on the side over here we have two shots of Buzzsaw looking very, very cool with his brand new head sculpt and in the back he transforms into 20 steps of course a picture of the robot and the yellow jacket mode looking very cool and on the side of course we have the legacy decepticon artwork with megatron drag strip iguana sky warp and kickback and that's pretty much it for the packaging so let's get right into this review and here we have us on his robot mode let's take a look at the details so starting at the wings here of course we have some nice uh grayish black for the wings i really do like how you can see all the little ligaments and sections in the wings that looks very realistic and cool for the head sculpt it's actually a a brand new sculpt done in some purple yellow and some green for the visor or eyes i also really do like at the back of the head there is some light piping which is very cool and at the arms here of course we have some nice uh black for the insect legs which are very cool and realistic you can maneuver those i will show you uh what you can do and articulation wise of course whenever you get to that after the details um and of course for the arms there's some nice green and uh yellow for the shoulder some purple and some yellow and black for the forearm and of course some more purple for the hand and there is a nice Predacon symbol there done in purple getting to the chest region of course we have the actual yellow jacket head on the chest we have some nice brown for the little antennas some green for the eyes and of course some more yellow there and some black for the mandibles which looks pretty good getting to the lower part of the figure we have some nice purple for the crotch section some nice yellow and black pattern on the entire leg i really do like this nice spray painted detail at the knees that looks pretty good it kind of looks like the figure or the character could do this himself like as war paint that looks really really cool and of course the back to insect leg extended black which are very angled and curvy so he does have a little bit of cable on him and of course it can get in the way at times which is unfortunate but still he turns into a wasp so his um you know legs do have to go somewhere so to be expected but he does have one accessory unfortunately it's not the greatest accessory i have the same complaint about this one as of course with wasp mirror there's no new molded pieces on it it's just this little piece which is a part of the stinger or the back side of the yellow jacket so of course if we turn this back here it's just this, it's just this missing piece right there which you can store there if you want to or you can have him hold it which i will show in just a second but yeah it's just a little piece which you can have him hold just like that, exactly the same accessory as Waspinator, and unfortunately, doesn't really do much. I really wish they gave uh, Waspinator like his harpoon gun. If you watch Beast Wars, he uh, several times had like laser eyes or like a harpoon gun or like a uh, you know zapping weapon or something like that. But this just looks like a random piece of the figure that was just taken, you know, and just made into a weapon. It really doesn't look like much. You can actually plug a blaster piece on it there if you want to but me personally not a big fan of it but still a very well detailed figure so that's pretty much it for details and accessories let's get into a few comparisons and then we will get into articulation so for our first comparison here we have kingdom wasp winner and of course the legacy walmart exclusive buzzsaw so two very good figures i'd say probably design wise my favorite is definitely wasp winner i really like his head sculpt and the nice purple wings uh stability wise unfortunately mine was played with a lot of very very loose joints and also some very too tight joints like his slick legs are way too tight if you watch my review on him several times actually um, unfortunately they popped off um, and I had to re-record several scenes of the review uh, I think they did a much better job with keeping the joints at the right uh, tightness and of course unfortunately some of them are a little bit too loose like the wings so I will say definitely they did a better job uh, quality control wise with buzzsaw design wise I would say wasp winner is my favorite in the comment section down below which one is your favorite between these two uh, versions of this molds I think they're pretty good there is no light piping on wall spinner by the way but still a very good figure and unfortunately they are plagued with the same problem their accessory it isn't the greatest but still two very cool characters in my opinion let's move on to some more comparisons now for another set of comparisons here we have night prowler buzzsaw and sandstorm of course these are three figures a part of a walmart exclusive subline for legacy and overall i think they are pretty good figures i have already reviewed night prowler and sandstorm so if you haven't seen those reviews go check them out after you've watched this one and i would say he is definitely my second favorite of this mini subline my only problem of course again 
That's that accessory. Not the greatest and not the most creative. It kind of really just looks like a piece of the Wasp mode or uh, Yellow Jacket mode just kind of taken out and, you know, just put in his hand. Doesn't look the greatest in my opinion. But who knows? Maybe some people like it. If you do, that's your own opinion. But in my opinion, not the greatest. So maybe there could be some upgrade kit out there if you do know of that. Uh, actually, let me know in the comment section below. I might be interested in checking that out. So um, that's pretty much it for the comparisons. Let's move on to the articulation. Now let's get into articulations. Just starting at the wings. Of course, they're in a ball joint so they can rotate all the way around for the head can look up down all the way around for the arm it can move out in of course all the way around there is a swivel a, a rotation at of course the insect leg so all the way around there is a swivel at the hands there is also an elbow bend to a very good degree and of course there is also a swivel here so if you move the insect uh, head up this can rotate all the way around as well to a very good degree. For the legs, they can do uh, the splits like that. They can do a knee bends like that. Kick forward and um, partially back, of course, the uh, stinger section can sort of get in the way. And ankle tilts and slight rotation there. Unfortunately, this section does slightly block that. And for these, they can slightly move back and forth, sort of just a nod. Uh, if you uh, push it too much, they could pop out of place, so I'm not going to do anything uh, too far like that. But pretty good articulation for this figure. As I said before, I think this figure is much more stable than Wasp If I had done articulation on him, if you watch my review, he was kind of falling to pieces, so I'm really glad this is a much more stable figure. So that's pretty much it for comparisons, details, and of course, articulation. Let's now get into transformation. So now let's get into transformation. So what you're going to want to do is get this whole section here, disconnect this like that. As you can see, there is these two tabs here, and there is slots in this back section right there. And then you're going to hinge this whole section up. As you can see, there is a tab and a tiny little slot right there, right in front of the head. And this will just go right into place like that. And then what you can do is get this waist section here, and this is the section I was talking about earlier, how it is much more secure and tight. So there is a tab and a slot right there, and then you can use this hinge, rotate this all the way around, and then what you can do is just tab this whole assembly into place, just like that. And then we can kind of move the legs down for now, just so they're out of the way. And then what you can do with the arms is rotate these in, like that swivel this so of course the insect leg is out and then you can get the hand here swivel like that and of course do the same thing with the other arm swivel like that and then as you can see there is a tiny little peg right near the hand and there is a little hole right there and you're just going to want to swivel that and of course peg that into place make sure that it's nice and secure do the same thing at the other arm Line this all up, just like that. And then, of course, we can fix all the insect legs later uh, when we're finished. So then what you're going to want to do is hinge this, and then you can, of course, start to really finish everything up. You can get the feet, hinge these sections in. As you can see, there is a slot and a tab that will just tab together. And then, as you can see... You're going to get this little section here, and that will just go right in that section right there. It can take some time to really align up everything and make everything, you know, neat and tidy. Because, as I said before, transformation for this figure, I wouldn't say is the most neatest and easy. But I think we could be done. It says, of course, you can just start to really clean everything up, hinge the insect legs however you wish, of course, you can have them a little bit more spread out, you can have them sitting down, of course, you can have one of those flight stands, have them fly, whatever you want, there we have Buzzsaw in his yellow jacket or B mode, which looks pretty cool, so let's take a look at the details. Here we have Buzzsaw in his yellow jacket mode, and of course, the one last step we need to do, we just need to get the accessory right here, and there is this little section right here, there's the peg, and there is that port. 
and that will just plug right into place. You could, of course, leave it there the entire time. Transformation, of course, doesn't matter. You could do it before or after. I typically will do it after just in case so it doesn't pop out or anything. But here we have the yellow jacket. It actually looks very realistic and cool. So, of course, starting out the wings, again, these did a really good job with these wings. There's actually kind of some uh, veins or ligaments in there. That looks really, really cool. And, of course, we have the insect legs there done in black. And, of course, some little uh, spread out areas, which, of course, would be the feet, which look very cool. Unfortunately, we do have the same problem that we did with Wasp Manor. This section here, the legs are very, very loose. They don't really stay in place very well. So I do kind of be a little bit careful moving them around. And of course, at the face there, they did a really good job with the eyes. They actually have some texturing on there, which is very, very cool. We have the little antennas there done in brown. Looks very, very cool. Very realistic. And of course, if we get to the back section here, you can barely tell there's actually an accessory stored in there. Of course, we have the yellow and black stripes all on the back, which looks very cool. And if you wanted to, you could probably hold it by there. I think that'd be the best place so nothing falls apart or gets untabbed. But yeah, I do wish this section here was a little bit more secure. It uh, is kind of annoying at times. But if you, you know, hold it carefully, it will stay together. But overall, a very good looking yellow jacket. Very cool. I do wish, of course, there was more of a uh, stinger or a, you know, a clear piece at the end so it could be more, you know, of a menacing actual yellow jacket because right now it doesn't even look like it could actually sting an Autobot or Maximal. But overall, very well done. Transformation could be a little bit neater, but I think it looks very, very cool. So let's get into one quick comparison and then we will get into articulation. So here we have a quick comparison with, of course, Buzzsaw and Waspiter, the former version of this mold. So you can see in both insect modes, they are actually pretty much the exact same thing. No mold changes, of course, just a brand new uh, deco for this figure. Much darker colors, lots of black, and of course a lot less green, which is the signature color for Waspinner. But as you can see here, very, very similar, and two very cool looking insect modes in my opinion. Which one is your favorite? Let me know in the comment section down below. I think probably my favorite is the uh, darker colors. I think it looks pretty cool with the uh, black wings there. That looks pretty nice in my opinion. But in the robot mode, I'll have to uh, be more in favor for Wasp Spinner in my opinion. But two very cool looking insect modes in my opinion. I think that's pretty much it for this comparison. So let's now get into some articulation and then the final thoughts. So now for articulation, of course, the wings are on ball joints so they can rotate all around for the little antennas on a ball joint as well. So now for the front legs, of course, there is a swivel here, so it can pretty much have pretty good range of motion. And now for the back legs, I would advise a little bit of caution because uh, it is attached to the legs, so some things could start to, uh, you know, detach and fall apart. So a very tight swivel there. I don't really want to push it very much because it could pop out. There's really an exposed peg there, so it could uh, unfortunately pop out, but you can just pop it back into place. So a swivel there, and of course the same thing on the other side. So that's pretty much it for articulation-wise. Not a ton. A little bit of the wings and, of course, some of the legs. It'd be nice maybe if there was another hinge here and here. So he could, you know, have a little bit more of an expressive pose, not just a solid, you know, leg, but overall pretty good. And of course, as expected, because this is a repaint. So that's pretty much it for that. Let's get into the final thoughts. For the final thoughts for the uh, yellow jacket mode, I think it looks really cool. I think they did a really good job with the wings, all the li little ligaments and lines in there. That looks really good. The insect legs, I think they did a pretty good job. I do like the sculpt of them. They're very realistic, but I do kind of wish maybe there was another hinge, maybe in the front one, so he could have more of an expressive pose. He could maybe have like some, uh, I don't know, more expressive poses when he's flying, you know, or attacking someone, but that's just a thought. Um, I really do like the uh, yellow jacket head. I like how there's some uh, texturing and design uh, in the actual eyes and um, antennas. That looks pretty good. The pinchers are pretty cool. I do wish they may open more, but they really don't at all, which is unfortunate. The back stinger looks pretty cool. The nice yellow and uh, black stripes looks very good. Unfortunately, there is really no stinger at the end of it, which is unfortunate, so you really can't sting anyone. Um, which that plays into the accessory because the really end of the uh, rear section is the gun, which is not the best accessory in my opinion. Uh, transformation, I think, could be a little bit neater. It's kind of fiddly at times. That really has a lot to do with the wings and the insect legs. They can kind of get in the way and sort of tangle up stuff, so that's kind of unfortunate. But after a while, if you transform a few times or if you have Wasp Spinner, you know exactly what to do. Uh, robot mode, I think, is pretty good. I think uh, it is definitely more stable and better connected than Wasp Spinner. I really do like Wasp Spinner, but if you watch my review, you knew, uh, my figure at least, uh, had a lot of problems with really staying connected and put together if you moved him or, you know, of course, messed around with him, which was unfortunate, but sitting him down on a table, he, uh, does pretty good. Um, 
I like the brand new head sculpt pretty cool. Wow, there's the light piping. The wings look pretty cool. And everything uh, does stay together pretty well. Like all the designs. Good articulation. I really do like the nice uh, spray painted uh, kind of black war paint design on the legs. That looks pretty cool. And I wouldn't mind if they put some of that on the uh, arms as well. That'd be pretty cool. I'd be fine with that. Um, my main complaint with the robot mode is the accessory. It's not the greatest. And of course that does play into this mode as well. There's really no blade or stinger um, at the end of it. It kind of just looks like a chunk of of the uh, uh, rear section of the insect mode just taken out and just have a peg and you just hold it really doesn't do much and of course they could have easily given this figure a harpoon gun and the same as Waspinner if you watch the Beast Wars show he had several times like a harpoon gun or of course laser eyes they really couldn't do the laser eye features so of course they would have to do the harpoon gun I really do not know why they didn't do that they could have easily just uh, not had an accessory made out of the stinger section they could have just given him a harpoon gun yeah I know storage would probably not be the best for it but it's I would still much rather have a good accessory not good storage and a bad accessory and of course okay storage so that's just my opinion let me know what you think of this figure in the comment section down below is it an improvement from wasp Banner, or is it about the same or is it worse my opinion I think it's a slight improvement on the stability wise um, I think uh, the wings are a little bit looser than wasp Banner's, but I would rather take uh, you know a stability of course with the main section of the figure or of course not a very popular section of the figure. But overall, very good figure in my opinion. Not the greatest in my opinion. I think there could be some tweaks, of course, with the accessories and some areas of the articulation for the insect mode. But overall, a very good figure. Highly recommends. Um, you could look on eBay. I actually got all three of these Walmart exclusives on eBay. Very good figures uh, in my opinion. And I already did review the other two. So if you want to go see those reviews, make sure you go check them out. Hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you next time.